Hello! So many of you have checked out my videos about the Freestyle Libra Flash Glucose Monitor and left me some wonderful comments and been so kind. Um, and I wanted to just take a second today and give you a little bit of an update on how I'm doing with it. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it's a really fabulous little sensor that you wear on your arm. Uh, it stays on for two weeks and you scan it with a little device um, that looks like a tiny little cell phone. Um, and it tells you what your, your blood sugar is so that you don't have to do finger pricks. Um, I started using it like eight or nine months ago um, and I love it. However, <laughs> uh, however, I'm, I'm actually looking at switching at the moment. Um, it's been kind of unreliable lately for me, unfortunately. Um, honestly, I have awful circulation in my hands. <laughs> um, it's just me. That's always been me. Um, and I'm kind of starting to wonder if I also have awful circulation in my arms. Um, and the Libra is only FDA approved for use on the back of your arms. Um, that's the only spot that they can say it's reliable. I know that other people have tried it in other places and said that they've had success. I've never tried it anywhere else. Um, I just didn't really want to mess around with finding a good spot. Um, I've just always had it on the backs of my arms. And for a while it was really great and the last month or so it's been off a lot. Um, two different sensors consistently off by 30, sometimes 80, um, a lot. I'm kind of wondering if the change in weather with it being so cold is making my circulation worse. It's possible that it's just me and my arms are not a good spot. I don't know. Um, but I've kind of reached a point where I don't really trust it anymore, which is a shame uh, because I want to love it. I want, I loved it so much when I first got it. I still do love it. It's a really great option. Please don't think I'm bashing it at all. I'm really not. Um, it just might not be the best fit for me. Um, so I've kind of reached the point where I'm scanning and then I'm also finger pricking. So it doesn't really make sense to continue wearing it um, if I'm checking with my meter anyway. Um, so yeah, so like for instance this morning my fasting, it was off by 40. And you know, that's, that's the difference for me between correcting or not. So, so that's a big difference. Um, so it just, it doesn't totally make sense for me anymore. Um, I've noticed too, um, for a while, this has always been my thing since I was diagnosed that when, um, when my sugar goes higher, my anxiety goes high. Um, and not because I know that it's higher, it's just my body's reaction to high blood sugar. I get anxious. Um, so I'm kind of wondering, like before I realized that this was an issue, how many bad anxiety days were actually crappy blood sugar days and I just didn't know it because I was trusting my Libra. I don't know. And I, I can't blame everything on my blood sugar. I would love to, but I can't. <laughs> uh, and I want to stress, I saw my doctor last week um, and my A1C has actually gone down uh, a tiny bit, like a tenth of a point. So a tiny bit. Um, so my numbers are, were not that horribly off that it messed me up tremendously. Um, my A1C is, I think it was 6.6. .6. So I'm, you guys, I'm good. Um, like it wasn't so horrendously off that it was doing terrible things. It's, I just, I like to keep it like in control, like nice and, I like to stay as close to 120 as I can. <laughs> Basically, that's how I feel best. Um, and it's hard to do that if I, if I can't correct accurately. Um, so I'm looking at the Dexcom. Um, and I, and I make that face when I say it because it's so expensive, you guys. Um, that was really the best thing about the Libra. It's just so affordable. Um, it's amazing. So in my case, um, what I'm doing, since this looks like it might be the way I need to go, um, uh, since I have tried the Libra, the Libra is considered preferred through my insurance, uh, through the pharmacy benefits. So because I tried it and I've kind of started to have issues, uh, my doctor's filling out a formulary exception form. Um, basically saying I've tried what they prefer and I'm not having the greatest results with it anymore and will they do the Dexcom for me at a lower price because he thinks that's what I need. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, quite frankly, if they 
won't do that for me, then I probably will stick with the freestyle, uh, just because Dexcom is so expensive. <laughs> it's so expensive. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure how this is going to play out. I have to wait and see. Um, but it's just where my mind is at right now, I guess. Um, just looking into other options since my, my Libra has not been as reliable as I would like it to be. And I want to stress again that there are so many people who have had wonderful results with their Libras. I am not bashing it at all. It's a fabulous, fabulous device. Um, I'm so grateful that I've been able to wear it and have it all this time. Um, and I have times where my numbers are only off by like five. And it's amazing. And if it could be like that all the time, or even off by 10 or 15, I would take it. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, and there have been times that it's been like that. But then there are times that it's off by 75 or 80. Um, and it's, I've just hit, I've just hit a point where it's not terribly reliable for me. And, and that kind of stresses me out. Um, so I'm just looking into what my other options are since I think I need something that I can wear somewhere else besides the back of my arm. That might not be the best location for me. Um, and Dexcom, you can, you can wear on your belly, which I think might be, might be the best spot for me. We'll see. I don't know. But as things change, as they develop, I will let you guys know. I'll let you know what ends up happening, what I end up with. We'll see. <laughs> it's always something, right? But anyway, um, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to drop them below. And make sure to like and follow to stay up to date on everything that's happening over here. Because I'm sure you want to know exactly what I'm up to. <laughs> but have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye.